Hey gang, we'll hear from the Ashland Fly Shop with a fishing report for you for mid-February, a Valentine's Day fishing update for the Southern Oregon region, state of Jefferson region. Here we go. Uh, wow, okay, so wild and woolly weather we've been having up here, which is great. You know, we always just stress out about how much snow, how much precipitation, low elevation, high elevation, uh, uh, how much water is in the snowpack, blah, blah, blah. Well, we've really, really gotten a, a really good shot recently. Not nearly what our neighbors to the south and north of us have got, uh, but we, we've, we've been doing pretty well. So it's, it's been awesome. And actually, it hasn't really affected the rivers a ton. We've had a couple good, a couple good blowouts um, since our last reports, I think going back a few weeks. Um, and uh, but but really fairly stable uh, for the most part, um, and things are looking pretty pretty good in general. So one quick note: if you don't hear from me in a fishing report for a couple weeks, a few weeks, it means that there's not a lot going on, not a lot of change. Now, sure, somebody's going to have something to say about that as far as well. I was out and caught this great fish, but uh, for the most part, it's uh, pretty stable, pretty quiet, like. Uh, like, like the Rogue uh, has been of late. So we'll just hop in there. It's mid-February, you know, we're up here at the top of the river about, um, you know, 160 or so river miles from the mouth. So it takes a while for the winter steelhead to kind of get up here in numbers and um, in numbers that we think are worth talking about uh, as far as fishing. But we have seen in the last week and a half or so, we have seen uh, some very nice uh, winter fish caught up here. Uh, winter fishing, I feel, in the upper section of the river here in the kind of the Medford area, it's kind of a pretty challenging uh, way to go, especially this time of year. As we get more into March and April even, um, we can kind of see some uh, more, more groups of fish, more potential for uh, bigger fish and stuff in this area, but, uh, but it, is, it is a little tough to scratch one out. Uh, the Applegate River, which is a main tributary of the Rogue around Grants Pass, uh, that uh, sees decent numbers of fish, and so a lot of fish will peel off into the Applegate uh, before coming up here. Also, bigger tributaries down lower, the Illinois sees good numbers of winter steelhead, um, but the you know the upper river is kind of you know I don't know last on the list or whatever. But it always just seems like it's kind of a challenge. But we're we're starting to see some fish now, and it's worth going out and, and poking around. It does tend to have some of the better water conditions. Um, you know, when the river really gets rolling like it has been. So we just had a good rain. Uh, river shot up to, I, I think, five or 6,000 or maybe even a little bit more around Dodge Bridge. Um, and that's a, pretty good, that's a pretty good bump, but it's really dropping ra radically now. Uh, we have some precip happening, but it's a lot of snow uh, in the higher elevations. So we're not seeing that in the river as much. So we're really seeing the river drop. So I'd give it another Oh, I'd give it another few days and I think it'll probably be in pretty good shape. And also in winter too, you're gonna to be fishing higher water. It's just the way it's gonna be. So you just wanna fish you know, a little closer to the shore. Um, you wanna fish those inside bends, you know, things like that, unless you're really nymphing deep. Uh, then you can kind of continue to fish the same slots and stuff that you have. But if you're swinging, you're approaching it a little differently and you are uh, embracing higher, higher flows. So that's, that's what uh, we're looking at out there now. Um, very low flows still coming out of the dam, uh, close to 800. That's really not uncommon at all for them to really hold that water back out of the dam um, as we see flows increase uh, downriver. Um, and they may play around with letting water out, but really that's more later in the season as we get more into, you know, that, that later March, April, uh, later April, even into May, that's when they start to, to move those flows around. So they'll probably continue to hold water back. Um, so, so there's kind of a big overview. Yes, it is a good time to fish in the upper river for winter steelhead. Maybe not the best time, but it's a good time to start looking around. Uh, start looking around there for, for winter fish. Talk a little bit about the Klamath. Um, Klamath has been really holding strong. Uh, it, fishing has been good over there. Um, there are good numbers of steelhead up there. Uh, if you pressed me, I would say these are late, late summer fish. 
Um, there could be some winter fish in the mix there as well. I think they do see some fish, but this Klamath, Upper Klamath, uh, kind of continues to go on until you know that kind of March time frame when we're, we we can be pretty sure that we're not seeing any any new fish come in. So I would say um, I would say fishing over there right now is a good bet. Um, the flows are starting to move around a bit, but they've been pretty stable at around a thousand. There was a bit of a bump from the rains we just got a couple days ago, but again, there was a lot of snow down there. So um, I looked at the graph just, to, just in the last half an hour and it looked like it was trying to creep up. So you might take a look at that graph um, in a few hours. We'll look at it and, and uh, we can provide an update for you if you call us, but it might be trying to bump up now which wouldn't surprise me too much, so we're keeping an eye on that. But the Klamath, Upper Klamath is a good bet, and we'll fish good bank fishing um, for, you know, it'll, it can go up to a couple thousand CFS and still be pretty good. Um, so that's a good bet. Upper Klamath is continuing to be a good bet. Uh, North Umpqua, is a, it's a good time to be up there. I can't say that I've had any first-hand accounts of fish, aside from the fish that we hear about in the lower section of the north, that people uh, drift boat fish quite a bit and fish more conventional methods and stuff. Definitely some good catches going on there. Um, you know, that river has really, especially this winter season, has just really benefited so much from the catch and release rules that were instated several years ago. We just see very consistent uh, returns there, just absolutely beautiful fish. So we've been watching that for the last few weeks. It is a good time to be fishing the North Umpqua now, uh, up into the fly water, uh, looking at the flows. I think they were around a thousand CFS up there, which I think is pretty good. Um, mostly snow has been falling up there. So not a lot of uh, water has really been rushing in from rain. It's been mostly snow. So I think that those, um, those flows are gonna, gonna hang in there pretty good unless something, something happens. But we're looking fairly clear on the weather, I think, for the next week. Um, some, some rain and stuff coming through, but nothing real big, it looks like now anyway. So the north is a good bet. Everyone who fishes the north knows it's a good time to start going up there. And I would say, just like in other years, now is a good time to go up there and start looking around. And as evidenced by those fish in the lower river, I think there'll be some fish heading up there. Uh, the coast has been a pretty rough story um, this year. It sounds like uh, we've really not been hearing a lot about uh, um, very good catches down there. We did get a good report from the lower rogue um, that uh, was really more about seeing fish and, and seeing the conventional boats and stuff getting into good numbers of fish down there. So, so that's, uh, that's nice to hear, but some of the other popular rivers down there, the Chetco, et cetera, seems like they've been a pretty rough way to go down there this year. You know, going down there, you're typically only looking for one pretty exceptional fish, and so it's, it's worth the hunt for a lot of people. But I would say, in general, those runs down there uh, seem to be uh, like they're a little lower this year, for sure. Oh, the little bit of trout fishing that we're doing this year, uh, the holy water section, we went up a couple times in January and, and did some streamer fishing and stuff, and it was pretty, pretty rough. Um, fishing up there, but um, but you know it's a good time to go. Uh, it's a good place to go fish and fish streamers and stuff this time of year. It can really be day to day. Um, look for afternoon hatches of blueing olives, some midges. Um, you know if there's just the right conditions to get the bugs going, those fish can really respond and get on them. So try to fish up there between like 11 and 3. You know, that's going to be your best bet up there. Um, for, for trying to grab a midday hatch and, and fish some streamers in there. We found a really nice fish on a small black leech, you know, like a size 10, uh, little, you know, kind of skinny little leech, and that, that worked pretty well. So, so mix up your tactics a bit, but, uh, but that should be a good place to fish uh, for the next couple months. And as water temps change and things change a bit up there, uh, spring can be quite good up there before we get into the salmon fly hatch. Um, Another river we like to fish for trout, the upper Sacramento, I looked at today just cranking from the last storms. 
uh, really a lot of water going through there. So I have to assume, even though we mostly fish around Dunsmere and the gauge is much lower down, I have to assume there's probably a lot of water moving through the upper Sacramento right now. Um, so probably a kind of a watch and wait thing, but that's a really fun winter fishery too. We talk about it a fair amount, um, but that's kind of a watch and wait, a watch and wait situation down there on the upper Sacramento. That's what we're seeing in our region now, what we're doing, where we're fishing. Uh, we're starting to book trips on the uh, Upper Rogue uh, for steelhead. That's your, probably your best bet to try and find a winter fish up there is cover a lot of water. So please give us a call if you want to do something like that with us in the next couple months, six weeks or so. Um, but that's mainly what we're hearing about uh, in our region. So thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate it and follow up if we can help you uh, with any uh, more current information. Thank you.